Okay, so good day everyone and welcome to uh, the wonderful world of Age of Wonders. Uh, this is a game that I have enjoyed for oh, well over a decade now. Uh, and I, I, I thought it'd be fun to do kind of a just a short playthrough here uh, just to see how it goes. Uh, so why don't we kind of uh, dive right in. No, I mean, this series has three games to it. Uh, the third one has come out recently, and I'm absolutely in love with the third one. Uh, the second one I was so-so with until the expansion pack came out. You got Age of Wonder Shadow Magic. That is a fantastic game. Uh, but I'm doing this one, the first one, for a couple reasons. Number one, uh, this is it's my first time doing anything like this, so this is kind of just, uh, just uh, a test you know, that we're running through just to see how things go. Number two, um, this game is one that you can play very quickly, you know, uh, well, relatively speaking, I mean, a full game will take maybe an hour or two, you know, as opposed to some of the later installments where, you know, you can easily sink, you know, 10, 20, 30 hours into a single map, right? And finally, I mean, this, uh, I've been playing this game for ages, this is one of my absolute favorite games. And I figure, hey, maybe we can get some more love for it. So uh, here we've got a list of scenarios we're doing. I'm not doing the campaign. There's a whole bunch of people who've already done the campaign on YouTube. Plus, I mean, you know, what's the point of just doing a short game if you're going to do a whole campaign? So uh, I'm just going to do a quick scenario here. I'll, this, by the way, of all the Age of Wonders games, this is the one that has my favorite scenarios. Probably has my favorite scenarios of any strategy game ever. Um, they just do so much, they put so much effort into making the world feel real and alive, and the map seem like an actual region rather than, you know, something made for a video game, and I've always just loved that extra bit of detail. Anyway, so, Blood Isles, as the name implies, is kind of an island map. We've got four races to choose from here. Uh, Twelve races in this game, but most of them are unavailable on this map. It's a smaller map. I'm going to play as the Azrax. Um, because they don't appear in any of the later games, and so, yeah, this is kind of <laughs> the only time I get to play as them. So let's do that. Let's bump everyone else up to the highest difficulty level. So our enemies are humans, dwarves, and goblins, although they may not necessarily be our enemies. Uh, customized leaders lets me customize my leader, which... I know, I was I was surprised by that too, I thought it would let me do something else, but no. Uh, allied victory, um, again, you know, self-explanatory. Leaders on map, this one's an interesting one. Uh, it determines whether your leader's an actual figure in the game, or if it's just, I don't know, some sort of figurehead and he's not on the map. I like to play with it off, because I find otherwise the game gets a bit too easy, you can just go in, assassinate the leader, if the leader's dead, the game's over, it's done. I mean, in, you know, in future installments, they deal with that problem, but here, I'm going to have it off. Uh, I, I it, it, it makes the game a bit more challenging. On larger maps, it's annoying because it means you have to go out and hunt down every city that the enemy has, and possibly every unit, I can't remember now. But on a smaller map like this, that's not a big deal. Um, and let's assign them some personalities. Uh, I could be mistaken, but I feel like... Um, I feel like the AI is stronger when you give them personalities. I can't prove that, but it's it's kind of just I've been playing around with the game recently, and that's uh, uh, you know it's the conclusion I've the conclusion rather I've arrived at. So humans can expand the way humans do. Goblins seem pretty aggressive. Well, they also scorcher. Uh, let's make them aggressor. Dwarves. Uh, Defender works for dwarves, but I'm worried that you know Defender will just. <laughs> They'll just make them sit around and make them just generally terrible at the game. Uh, so let's, you know what, let's leave them on normal. We'll see how they do. Uh, okay, customized leaders. Tilosik, eh? The leader of the Azrak. So I choose my picture and my name. Make him a fire-breathing lizard if I want, but uh, I'm not really feeling that. Let's, uh... Let's see. Let's just go with the default stuff. I don't care. Um, okay. Now, ordinarily, there's a, there's a, yeah, we went from step one to step three. In step two, you can assign all your stats and abilities, all that sort of thing. But of course, the uh, <laughs> the leaders aren't on the map, so we don't have to do that. 
Now, uh, an interesting thing about this game, by the way, compared to the earlier games, is that um, each sphere has an opposite. So if I say life, fire, and earth, I now can't choose death, water, or air. Um, similar to Age of Wonder Shadow Magic, the amount of spheres you take de decides how many spells of that sphere you can get. So four life would get me all the life spells, one life would get me only the level one life spells, so on and so forth, whatever. Um, I'm going to go with four fire, which is <laughs> unusual. Fire is probably the weakest sphere, but it feels pretty Azraki, so let's just go ahead and do that. And let's toss in some air, too. Um, air is a bit more competitive than fire is. It's got some nice spells, but uh, yeah, let's go with this. That seems like fun. Uh, all right. We're in the game. Let the game begin. Yes, indeed. So, uh... So here we've got the, the background story for the map, which again is another thing I love about this game. They, they did a great job of setting up. They had an official timeline in the manual, and they explained where each scenario takes place in that timeline. It's, it's, all, very, it's all very nice. Anyway, you can... Uh, if you're really interested in that, you can pause the game and read it, and if not, then... Uh, or pause the video rather than read it, if not, then, you know, whatever. Alright, now we get to choose a spell to research. Um, so, how, uh, in this game you have your spells pop up to research, and the important thing, you research two spells of any one given level, and that unlocks the next level. So, you can see I've got, I can research level two fire spells, that means I started the game with two fire spells already, um, which are, look to be Flaming Arrow and Fury, because they're not in my book. I also don't have Bird's View in my book, so that must be the air spell I start with, because I only see three here. Well, okay, so here's here's kind of the first decision to make, because either I can do a fire spell and try and get up to level three fire and eventually level four, which would be very nice, but also Chain Lightning is an incredibly powerful spell. Uh, so I think I'm going to go with that to start. Um, it also has question mark turns because I don't have anyone actually generating power yet because, again, the leader isn't on my map. But not to worry because I get to start with a hero. Uh, and there she is, Shara Sundance. Or, sh yeah. Shara, or I don't really know her care. It's a made up fantasy world language, so I doubt anyone will be offended by me mispronouncing it. Um, okay. So here we've got our starting city. Three hexes, which is nice. In this game, city sizes are predetermined, and uh, you can the amount of hexes a city is comprised of determines the amount and or determines the level of units that you can build there, as well as how long it takes to build them. So three hexes means I can ultimately get up to level three units, which will be nice. But upgrading a city costs 250 gold each time. That's on top of the cost of you know actually building and installing the units. So we're <laughs> we're, we're going to hold off on that for a bit now. Now each race, um, at level one, they have four units that are all kind of the same. You've got a ranged unit, a melee unit, a battering ram, which in my case is an elephant, and then some sort of special unit, which has to be installed. Install is just what you do before you can build it. Now, for Azraks, elephants are absurdly powerful. I mean, they are just some of the most amazing units in the game, and that's why I'm barely going to build any of them, because they're just, they're way too cheesy. I mean, honestly, I could just run over this map, I could just produce stacks after stacks of elephants, and, uh, you know, the enemies would, my enemies would just collapse before me, and it wouldn't be, wouldn't really be all that exciting. Um, hmm. So the challenge here is, what do I want to focus on? Swordsmen, archers, or do I want to install scorpions against some of those out and about? Oh, I mean, while we're here, I might as well talk about the differences here. So we've got your attack stat, which determines how likely you are to hit an enemy. Damage, which is, you know, you do one to whatever your damage is every time you hit, depending on what you roll. Defense, which is your chance of not being hit by an enemy. Resistance, which is your chance of being hit by uh, general magical effects, uh, spells, that sort of thing. Movement, which is how fast you move, and hit points, which is uh, how many hit points you have. Uh, again, I know that seems a little counterintuitive. You think that hit points would be uh, would be something like, you know, whether he's got a cannon or something mounted on his shoulder, but uh, believe it or not, hit points are actually hit points. Um, and then, of course, on the side, we've got the abilities. Everyone can walk. 
unsurprisingly. Strike means their ability to fight in melee combat. And archery, you know, they can shoot a bow. So you'll notice that archers don't have strike. So if they get engaged in melee combat, they can't fight at all. Uh, all Azrak units, or most Azrak units rather, have fire protection, which means they take half damage from any fire-based attacks. That's less useful than it sounds, actually, because a lot of fire-based attacks also have a physical element, so an attack has to be pure fire for fire protection to do anything whatsoever, and there aren't many of those. Um, and then we've got our, our Scorpion friend here, who has a chance of poisoning enemies. And he's also got poison immunity, which means he cannot be poisoned in turn. So that's that's always kind of nice. Now, uh, scorpions have very nice defense compared to uh, <laughs> compared to any of the other low-level Azrak units. Um, most, yeah, at, yeah. This is what's unique about Azrak swordsmen. Most swordsmen have four attack and two defense. Azraks have five and one, so they're very good at hitting things, but they're very bad at avoiding being hit. Um, actually, before we decide what to build, let's kind of look around here and see what our starting situation is. So I've got our swordsman, uh, archer. Mm, cut off a bit aside there. Well, whatever. Uh, battering ram. Uh, you know, wall crushing lets me crush walls. It's like a elephant, but not nearly as good. And then my priest! Priests are very interesting units in this game. Um, they've got... <laughs> uh, they, they do... They've got a... They do have some level of physical melee combat, so they can't... Unlike archers, they can't do some melee combat. They also usually have some sort of range attack here. In this case, it's magic bolts. Uh, these guys are completely immune to any sort of fire. And then they've got all sorts of nifty utility things here. They can turn undead, they can heal, and they can dispel magic, and those all improve as he gains ranks. So priests are very nice to have. Let's see, yeah. Bird's View, Fury, and Flaming Arrow. Okay, Fury is actually nice uh, as the Azrax. Normally it's kind of an iffy spell uh, because it gives a big boost to your attack, but it gives a penalty to your defense. But since my swordsmen, uh, their defense is always is already as low as it can go. Well, you know, I don't really lose anything. <laughs> so it's really just plus two attack all around unless they've gotten the metal. Um, let's see. Flaming Arrow is a decent combat spell. It's not it's not great, but it's cheap. Uh, Bird's View reveals the area around me. Normally that's actually a very nice spell at the very start of the game on the first turn, but unfortunately, as you can see, I have no mana. So we won't be casting that. Anyway, on with the game. Uh, okay, so... Alright, uh, Swordsman. Why don't you go check out this mine here. If you like having mines. Um, mines just give you... If you haven't played the game before, mines give you extra income. Battering Ram, you can take the Builder's Guild. The Builder's Guilds also give you income, but you can also build things there. A Builder, a Flamethrower, and a Drill. Um, I'm not going to be bothering with any of those right now. Um, Mine comes low enough as it is. Right. And let's, uh... Okay, Hero, you run down here and you see what's going on with this city. Two Axemen. See, Axemen, uh, they're dwarves. They've got lower attack but higher defense than my, uh... than my swordsmen. They've also got poison protection. Uh, which actually... Th that actually... Actually, I think Poison Protection is completely useless in this game. Um, I don't think there are any attacks that are pure poison. I could be wrong, but I... yeah. Yeah. Oh, actually, there's an attack called Venomous Spit, but I think only one unit has it, so... <laughs> and it's not a very good unit, so no, I'm done. I'm going to get some Archers. Uh, archers are always nice because they can hit without being hit in return, and uh, that helps to minimize casualties. Because uh, I definitely want to take this city as soon as possible. Oh, it's going to take you two to uh, well, whatever. Uh, I want to take that city as soon as possible. And I also start out with a dragon ship, which is the weakest form of fighting ship. Uh, but he's still going to go out and explore, water around. Oh, look! Um, a water node. If I had water spheres, that would be helpful. Since I don't, it's nothing. Oh, hey, look, we've got him at the goblins. So they're up there. Um, Got the halflings, the uh, halfling city over here again. Nice three hex city. So that will definitely be worth taking. Uh, here's my relations. 
Uh, this kind of shows all the different races on the map. Uh, so there's, yeah, Frostlings, Hymen, and Undead aren't present here, but all the other the nine other races are. This shows my relations with them. Because I'm a neutral race, the other neutral races like me, and no one actually dislikes me. I suppose, you know, you compare the goblins who are evil, so evil races like them, and, but the good races absolutely hate them. The neutral races don't really care. So this is a very nice advantage because it means that uh, I can kind of mix and match my armies and choose the best, just so long as I don't have them in the same group. Because if you put, like, I don't know, orcs and halflings together in the same army, they start to get all pissy and rebel, and you know, you know how high maintenance orcs can be. Um, anyway, so I think that does us for the first turn. I have a shipyard here to build ships. Okay, let's go. Uh, okay, well, <laughs> I guess I'm taking this a turn after then. Uh, Alright, yeah. I'm, by the way, I'm waiting for the goblin uh, to make an overture. Uh, I don't really know. Uh, yeah. I'm not so into rushing him that I want to declare war on him right away, but at the same time, you know, I'm not going to go around offering him peace either, just in case. Okay. Alright, and now you guys get to see the most exciting part of Age of Wonders Climbing in, which is the combat. Alright, uh, <laughs> this game is actually the one that probably has the worst combat, but it's still, it's still a lot of fun. Um, it's not nearly as good as uh, Age of Wonders 3, that's for certain. Oh shoot, those are my archers, not my swordsmen. I may have made a tactical blunder there. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, the combat in this game is um, quite good. It's uh, interesting, lots of different units, lots of different abilities. De easily the highlight here. Um, okay, so the thing is that they will not attack me. Uh, like, they'll kind of hold hold their ground until they co I come within shooting range of them, which is why I moved up, rather than holding back, because if I held back, they just sit there and nothing would happen. Uh, so let's see what they do in response. Okay, so they're moving up to try and counter. That's good. Oh, okay. That's good. I like that. Putting themselves right in harm's way. Let's shoot this guy, see if we can uh, bring down at least one, one of the axemen here. Not. <laughs> uh, all right, there we go. Um, hmm. Okay. Now, magic bolts are different from arrows. Arrows have two shots, but only have four attack and two damage. Magic bolts have one shot, but seven attack and three damage. Um, I think I might, uh, might try and bring this guy down because archers are nasty, but. Unless they focus fire, they can't actually kill someone. Because they can do at, ma at most 4 damage, and only units have 5 health. So let's. Ooh, there we go. Direct hit. And uh, let's see if uh, Shira can. Hey, there she goes. Nicely done, Shira. Oh, and they're focusing. Oh, they're focusing on her, and she's. <laughs> she's not going to be dying anytime soon. Uh. Oh. I just <laughs> should be careful. Famous last words, I suppose. Let's bring down these archers. Oh, way to miss. Uh, yeah, there we go. That's the nice thing about the high attack of uh, As Azric Swordsman. You uh, usually get your hits off. And I like to use my hero to uh, do the killing because, you know, that gets her more experience and heroes can level up to a very high extent. Uh, oh. There they go! The goblins will utterly destroy any sign of the Azurex. Well, good for them. Um, now I have mana, which means I can actually cast spells, because I found some lying on the map there. Um, let's see, Bird's View. I've explored too much for Bird's View to really be useful right now, and Fury... <laughs> at this point, Fury would kind of just be a waste of mana income, so uh, uh, let's not bother with that. The north. Ooh, there's something fun. A wizard's tower. You can buy a spell from there. There's a nice three hex elven city. See, I don't have to worry too much about the goblins getting their hands on that, at least not for now, because they're, uh, they do not get along with elves, and they will not be able to buy the city. And here's an orc city, which the goblins were able to buy. They get along with orcs, so they could just walk up and get them money. Now, what do we do with our new city? 
Well, uh, it's a one hex city. That means we'll never be able to build anything more than level one units. Uh, we can up. So, or, I can't upgrade it, <laughs> rather, I just said that. You can fortify it to make sure no one comes sneaking in and stealing it, but uh, until the enemy has flying units... No. Jeez. I was going to say until the enemy has flying units, that's a waste of time, but flyers can just go over walls anyway. I don't know where my head's at today. Um, I can migrate it to Azrax during Azrax City, but because dwarves are okay with me, I don't see the need to do that. And I can loot it or raise it, you know, uh, not going to do either of those. I think I'm actually going to produce some Axemen, because their, um, their high defense will kind of balance out my own Azrax low defense nicely. Well, their average defense, I mean. Uh, Berserkers... Actually, Berserkers are pretty awesome. Uh, that would mean my entire army has got one defense, uh, but they do do four damage and they have six health, both of which are very nice. Uh, huh. Let's just grab some Axemen for now. And you'll notice it takes two turns, rather than one, uh, to build them, because the city is small, doesn't have very good infrastructure. In this game, how many turns it takes to build a unit depends on... Uh, it depends on the size of the city. Oh, nice! Humans, and they want peace with me. Uh, are you trying to send... Uh, are you trying to attack my boat with a frog? Ha! <laughs> okay. <laughs> There you go. Anyway, uh, uh, how quickly you build units depends on the uh, size of your city. If the size of your city is at least double the level of the unit, you can build them in one turn. So a two or three hex city can build level one units in one turn, and a four hex city can build level two units in one turn, which is very nice. Oof. I do want to get this upgraded. I wonder. Maybe I should have the Dwarf City switch to Berserkers and have this Azrak City uh, get some uh, Scorpions out. Yeah, you know what? I think we'll do that. Uh, let's, uh, well, we're already working on this one accident, so let's uh, finish that and put, throw this guy to the game, because Scorpions have a very nice defense. Um, <laughs> okay. I don't know why I said you went scouting, because I need you to go capture... Ooh, some Dark Elves. Okay, yes, I need you to go uh, ferry my army around so we can kill some Dark Elves. Um, Alright. I could build a... Uh, I guess I could build a transport. Uh, transports are nice because they can carry a full stack, but they're also... Yeah, they're also a bit risky, because uh, they have absolutely no defenses. They're not combat ships. Okay, so, Scorpions have been installed, let's get some out. Uh, uh, right, you're small, so it takes you longer to install things. Um, Alright, excellent. Let's get, uh, yeah, let's get these guys on board, go, uh... Oh! Oh dear, oh, oh, crap, that means the goblins bought the Dark Elf City. Well, I guess that gives me even more incentive to capture then because I definitely do not want the goblins sitting with that city on my doorstep. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's get some berserkers going on here. Ugh, lovely. That is not going to be easy to take. Um, well, I do know something that can, can make it easier. Pick up some gold and go to this arena, and they can train my units to make them stronger. Uh... I really want to sink all my gold into training them. No, I don't think I do. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, hey, nice. An Azric City I could buy. That'll be that'll be handy. Oh, I know what'll make this easier. There we are. Uh, I'll can turn my army here into a full stack. Right. Now here's a fun battle. Now they're going to charge me here uh, <laughs> for reasons I'm not clear on. Um, so let's uh, kind of get it. Oh, that house is going to be a pain. That's going to make it tough to shoot at them. Although, it'll also make it tough for them to shoot at me. And they, uh, Dark Elves are much better archers than Azrax. And Storm Priests are pretty brutal. They have Lightning Bolts with that, which have a chance of stunning my guys. And if they're stunned, they can't take any action. And they can't retaliate. So, 
you know, being stunned is basically death sentence. Um, I'm gonna move up here because none of their guys should be able to reach me. Uh, oh, hey, there we go, lining up all nicely. Hey, perfect. Alright. And, uh, uh, yeah, oh, there he is. Okay, archers are all, uh, archers are all coming up. Yeah. The cavalry! Yeah. Yeah. Now, cavalry are normally quite scary. Um, the Dark Elves, however, have got the absolute worst cavalry in the game. No other race is this bad. Uh, they only do two damage. Um, now, charge adds two damage to them, but means like I could engage them with this swordsman, and th it is impossible for the rider to kill my swordsman in one round, which is, you know, um, obviously good for me, bad for him. Uh, yeah, <laughs> dark elf riders are really quite terrible. Uh, hey, okay, yeah, scorpion, you can go uh, munch on the uh, storm priest there, uh, or not. Let's see. Can't really hit it. Okay, in that case, how about you try to kill the riders? Uh, the silver medal they got here gives them marksmanship 1, which makes their range attacks more likely to hit. And marksmanship 2 will make the range attacks do more damage. Ugh. Okay, well. <clears throat> Lovely. Um, can you. No, no, no. Yes, yes. Uh, might as well go tie this guy up. <clears throat> And he's poisoned, so now his stats are terrible. Like minus two to everything, so uh, he's only at one defense, three attack, and one and one damage. So that's uh, <laughs> quite the setback for him. Uh, flaming arrow. Let's see. I can cast a spell like this. Eight attack, four damage. Um, uh, you know what? If I cast it on him, that's not going to end well because I have a small chance of hitting both. Of them. I'd rather not take the risk. Uh, Let's just kill this guy. There he goes. And yes, uh, he's gold medal, so he does four damage now. Uh, he's also pro oh, let's go see. He's also probably going to get shredded by the archer, but apparently they don't like my hero. Oh, and the uh, our loyal gold medal swordsman has met his match. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, Let's see here, how do we want to do this? Okay, you... Yeah, sure. Oh! Well, I injured my scorpion, but it worked out in the end. Okay, he's down. Oh, you can't hit anything! Ugh! Um... Okay, scorpion, let's see what you can do. Nice! Excellent. And, um... Yeah, let's just hope we don't hit the scorpion. Oh! <laughs> well, that's not good. <laughs> oh, that's very not good. See, now my hero is stunned. <laughs> it's only, uh... Oh, dear. And uh, I'm guessing my archers can't hit... Nope, my archers cannot hit those guys. Oh! Fortunately, I can heal him with my priest. So, so these guys are nice to have around. I guess my archers are going to have to move up anyway. Uh, yeah. Unlike the third game, this one has no range advantages or penalties, so I can just kind of water up. I also can't move or shoot after moving, so that's... Okay, Scorpion. Nope, you could not do it twice, but that's okay. Nope. Now he's healing. Uh, that's alright. And, uh... Farewell. Mr. Sword Priest. Oh, right. It's a battery ram. Didn't join it. It has no. It can't. It can't damage anything except walls. So didn't join in the battle, but he's uh, he's hiding up there. And I'm going to get my hero to kill him. Get some nice extra experience for Shara. Oh yeah. How do you miss a battery ram anyway? Come on. 
There you go. And, uh, again, since I'm neutral, I don't have to migrate this or anything. I can just keep it like this. And yes, I think I will, uh, produce some Dark Elf Archers, because they rock. Now, this, this city starts upgrade to level 2, so I have a bunch of level 2 units. And level 2 free trace is pretty similar. I have a priest. Cavalry, Catapult, and Ballista, and uh, there's a couple differences here and there, but for the most part, um, actually, that's the setup for every race except Halflings. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, uh, Storm Priests are fantastic, but it will take me, I mean, I won't, It'll take me four turns to be able to get one out, because I have to install it first and then another two turns to build it. So I'm just going to get some archers happening here for defense first. Um, and then... Uh, yeah, okay. Okay, archer without a, uh, without a medal, you can do the walk of shame uh, down to that island there. Ooh, a gold mine! Now, an air node would actually be useful for us. The uh, problem is that air elementals are immune to all physical damage. And that's actually, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's kind of scary. Their stats are terrible, but almost nothing can hit them. Um, priests, however, can hit them, so maybe if I get a couple priests, I'll be able to go up and take that. Because he's also he's immune to fire damage, which means I can't still go slinging fire arrow spells at him either. Oh, by the way, a cigarette here. If I explore that, I can get some fun items for my hero. I will explore that eventually, but, you know, for now, I, uh, it's more important for me to expand. Alright. How much money do you want to join? 106, eh? Um, yeah, what the heck, why not? Why did you produce two Dark Elf Archers? That doesn't make sense to me. What? <laughs> I've never seen that happen before. That... Uh... Okay. <laughs> that's, that's a bug, because uh, it's not like later games where there's a production overflow. Um, there's no ha production stat at all, it's just, um, you know strictly based on the amount of turns, so I don't know what happened there, but at least it worked out in our favor. Um, I'd also like to take that halfling city there. That would really help me cement the southern corner of the map here. If I can get that, I will be in good shape. So let's go take that. Oh, excellent. Uh, I'm going to wait until I have 20 points to spend on spellcasting too. Again, it is very easy to construct your hero in such a way that um, completely eliminates any challenge whatsoever from this game. So, rather than doing that, uh, I'm going to make my hero play more of a support role. Um, let's see. Yeah, alright. You can... We'll fight that tactically. Later on, I'll do more battles automatic, but, you know, it's a stage in the game where... <laughs> If, you know, the AI makes a stupid decision and I lose, uh, I, I could be completely screwed. Um, but as, don't worry, you won't have to watch me manually fight every single battle uh, cool. as the game drags on. We'll do things more auto. Um, okay. Halflings. Here we go. They're slingers. They have slingers instead of archers. Pearl Stones is actually uh, a fair bit better than archery, at least in this game because it, uh... Okay, get up to the front there, Mr. Scorpion. Um... The thing with Hurl Stones is that it's... Um... Four... Rather than two attacks at attack four damage two, it's four attacks at attack four damage one, which translates to, on average, doing more damage. And, uh... When you can get marksmanship on them, it's just it's just ridiculous. Um, so, oh, Pony Rider ran right in. This guy, he's still not amazing cavalry, but he's uh, he's certainly better than the rider, and uh, he's also level one. 
it's kind of an interesting thing about uh, halflings. Their cavalry is a level one unit. Let's go munch on that priest. <laughs> Wait, why'd I go for the priest? I should have gone for a slinger. Well, whatever. Uh, uh, that didn't work out too well last time. 4% chance. Sure. Hey, nice. Oh, crap. Oh, phew. Oh! Oh, no! <laughs> this doesn't look good for a hero. <laughs> Actually, it's okay, because, again, priests. Aside from the Dark Elves, and I guess maybe the Frostlings, priests aren't particularly powerful units, but man, are they useful. Uh... Oh, right, and you haven't actually gone yet. Yeah, let's get another flaming arrow out there. Hey! Oh. Uh, two of us can shoot magic bolts. Yeah, how do you like that? Ooh, this guy has marksmanship too now. That means his arrows now have attack 5 and 3 damage. So they are... Yeah, there you go. Okay, level 2 again. Uh... This time I'm gonna go for Pony Riders, cause Pony Riders are freaking awesome. Um, okay. Uh, oh crap, he's got a Beetle Rider already. Oh! Yeah. oh right, that's what I forgot about Emperor. They just get ridiculous amounts of resources. Um, okay, that being the case, uh, yeah, Beetle Riders are a level 3 Goblin unit. So they're, um, yeah. <laughs> Let's, uh, uh... The good news is he can't get to me without a boat. If he'd been building Wyvern Riders, which are a flying unit, I'd be more frightened. What is he doing here? <laughs> okay, whatever, AI. <yeah. laughs> you have fun with that. Nope. Uh, you got a new hero, Fakana Poisoner. Um... Yeah, let's build some friggin' Pony Riders, man. It's pony time. It's a, it's a pony party up in here. Does he have mountaineering? No? Okay. So he can't get a crop. Oh, although I have units that have mountaineering. Dwarves can cross those mountains. Hey, and maybe ambush his hero. I feel like... Uh, I feel like four dwarf berserkers could take down that hero. So we'll wait. Yep. Okay, I figured. It's two, two units with water concealment here. They're level 3 Lizardmen units, so I'm not going to uh, tangle with that. Uh, at least not now. I'm not building anything here. I want to get my uh, gold capital up so I can get some... Uh, uh, so I can upgrade, rather, and get, get, get that city to a higher level. Alright. Or I guess I can just sail around the mountains, but whatever. Nice! Humans won an alliance. So now I can see all their crap, and I don't have to kill them to win the game. Um, of course, an alliance isn't super helpful because they are not... They don't seem to be all that strong. Uh, oh! The goblins have several beetle riders. <laughs> okay, it looks like I definitely want to take down the goblins first. I don't know why. I could have just sailed around the mountains, but whatever. I have dwarves. I'm... You better believe I'm going to make use of him. <laughs> you know, uh, this stack can... Yeah, this stack could take that city, and then I can cut off their beetle production. And that would be lovely. Uh, you've, got, you've got five archers. You're probably going to be okay, so why don't you produce merchandise for a bit? Again, get us, get us some decent income here. Oh, you can't run! <laughs> not from, uh... Not from Psycho... Oh! Okay, no, I cannot take that. Uh... <laughs> let's, uh... Let's let that alone for now, then. But you know what I should do? I should go explore this ziggurat. That'd be fun. Uh... Anything else I need to take care of? I'm gonna wait to buy that city. Ham made a level. Oh, there it is. There's the dwarves. They're off doing their thing over there. Um, I'm going to offer them peace because I'd like to be able to just focus on the goblins for now. Let's see how that makes them feel. Hey, they like it. Ooh, although I do need to worry. Okay, 
because um, if you make peace or ally with too many good races, evil races will start getting all pissy. Or, yeah, evil races will start getting all pissy at you. So if I formed an alliance with the dwarves, the Stark Elf City might start trying to rebel. Okay, yeah, what the heck? Let's just see how this goes. If it doesn't work out, then hey, more income for me. Oh, battle lost. That doesn't look too good. <laughs> okay, so I killed a frog. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that could have gone better. <laughs> Oh well. Freed up some income, you know. Uh, oh, she has life stealing, that's right. That's a very deadly ability. Okay. And let's uh, raid this ziggurat here. And I'm going to fight this tactically because I. Uh, exploring caverns in this game is just so cool. Because uh, you literally explore the cavern, and in and, and later games you just fight a battle outside the cavern. Or in Age Wonder Three, sometimes it's inside, but you can see the whole thing. It's lame. This game, yeah, they do more to. Um, it's almost a bit like a dungeon crawler. Well, not really, aside from the fact I'm crawling through a dungeon. But uh, so you have to be careful here, because you never know what could be hiding in here. Um, I mean, for all I know, there's some dragon or something in here that'll tear my entire army to shreds. So, uh... <laughs> okay. And I don't have any units with night vision, which is kind of a drag. So that means that I can't see very well in places like this, which makes it very likely that I will be ambushed. Archers, you're replaceable. You can get ambushed if there's something hiding in there. Nope, oh, there isn't. Come on. I know you can't be empty, too. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to send. I don't like sending my hero up all up by himself, by herself like that. This is, uh, this is getting tense. Um, because especially if I haven't found anything yet, that probably means that there's only one or two units in here, and that probably means they're fairly powerful. Uh, <laughs> so I'm, I'm worried that something will just come charging out of the shadows and gank my hero. Um, oh, I see something. Uh, a spider. Okay. <laughs> uh... Maybe I was wrong. Um, okay. Alright, uh, just hope there's nothing else in this room. Oh, bloody hell, don't, oh, don't be that way. <laughs> Is this the end of our... No! Alright, excellent. Our hero has survived. Hey, and the spider's dead. Now, fun fact, that's one of the items I'll get from clearing this place, and I can actually have my hero go and pick it up now in the middle of the battle. I'm not going to do that, I just think it's more fun to, you know, find the items afterwards. But, you know, if you're playing this game, it's, uh, you know, something to keep in mind. Ugh. See, this is where night vision really comes in handy. Um, orcs, goblins, and dark elves all have night vision. I don't think anyone else does. Um, I remember being surprised, actually, that dwarves don't have night vision, but, you know, for whatever reason, they don't. Um, let's see. Actually, that one was kind of up somewhere like that, so let's see if maybe, uh... Oh! Okay! He ensnared me in his web. So, this hero is now... Oh, no dear. So, <laughs> yeah, not only can the hero not do anything for three turns, but the hero is also taking minus two defense, and I can't shoot without possibly hitting my hero. 
which I don't. Uh, I'll take the risk. Hey, and, and the risk pays off. Lovely. Okay, so obviously there's still something out there. It wouldn't surprise me. I'm sure I'll. Yeah. I don't know how well this is going to go for me because, again, you know, in places like this, uh, ta tactics only bring you so far, right? Because you don't really know uh, exactly what you'll be up against, or well, I mean, it's certainly not like uh, you know, regular battlefield where you can just do the little formation. Oh, hey, it's a scorpion. I've seen those before. I can build those. Um, okay. Come on up, Pony Rider. You come over here. Oh, the archer lives. Oh, that's my gold metal archer too. Hey, all right. So I found a spiked mace and a magic wand. So a spiked mace and the magic wand I can just put here. And now I can cast uh, magic bolts. By the way, just so you guys know, um, you can just send a Badring Ram into places like that, and the Badring Ram will automatically retreat, and uh, you can find out what the guards are without actually having to engage in battle. I find that a bit cheesy, so I tend to avoid doing it, but, uh, you know, if you're ever in a tight spot, it's, uh, it's a good way to, uh, you know, it's a low-risk way, I suppose I should say, of, um, yeah, of investigating those places. Okay, you know what, let's get my Pony Riders on there, and uh, let's send them around. He's fortified his city now, so I can't get in unless I've got somebody who can either fly or break down walls. Unfortunately, his Beetle Riders can break down walls, so that means that I can't really pull the same strategy on him and evade his troops by just not, you know, not, uh... Yeah, I want a lot of freaking pony riders. Uh... Okay, so he's probably going to try and take some of my stuff with that beetle rider. Um... Oh, no worries. Beetle Riders aren't actually all that tough, um, and if he does manage to somehow succeed, then I'll take it back. Alright, let's beat the crap out of this stupid hero. Yeah, <laughs> screw you, man. Oh, lost my Pony Rider and an- oh, two Pony Rider Archer. Oh, he took my Tower Fort. Okay. Guess that's one way to do it. Um. Healing you, stay. Eh? Maybe I'll hold off on trying to take that city till next turn then. I could do it if I did it manually, but we've done enough manual battles for now. Let's upgrade this sucker. Three turns and all my money and uh Nice! There we go! Oh now we're casting spells. Alright. Oh, they rebelled on him. Yes, because half of the goblins do not get along. Yeah, bring it. Yeah, try it. <laughs> Beetle riders are tough, but are they three pony riders tough? Time will tell, I guess. Let's heal this guy up. And, uh, let's do it automatically. Hey, hey, no casualties. Hooray. Um, again, like Dark Elves, Elves have nice uh, archers. Again, Priest. Uh, their special unit, the Nymph, is the same as the Dark Elf Lady of Pain. They can go around seducing things. Um, should I show you, look at the Lady of Pain before? Yeah, she goes around and, uh, and she can seduce crap. They're both, they're, I think they're identical, so. Yeah, oh no, you're not getting away, you're not getting away. Ha ha! Ha ha, yeah! Now, I can't capture this tower fort unless I've got something that can break walls because the count is fortified. So, I'm just going to zoom around here. Uh, let's see if I can do some more exploring. 
Yeah, let's get some Storm Priest installed. That would be fantastic. another boat. Actually, no, you come back here. I'm, I'll see if I can get something else to explore. Uh, air magic means I'll eventually be able to summon a giant eagle, but... Uh, yay! Upgrading is done! So now I get my special guys. Azrak Riders are friggin' awesome. They, unlike the Swordsmen, their defense is average. Um, but they have 40 movement, which is just fantastic, you know. Uh, one of the fastest units in the game, so that's always nice. But we're actually not going to bother with any of that. We're going to keep on going and try to upgrade again. So we'll see how that goes. Let's see. Elf Archer. Done. Uh, and let's, uh... Alright, let's make this our stack of thought. Uh... Yeah, okay. I should be able to do that without pissing off the Dark Elves too much. Okay. That's nice. Now that lets me focus solely on the goblins. Uh... The downside is that unless the dwarves and humans are ally, nope, they're at war, so once the goblins are dead, um, I'll have to pick one side to, to, to team up with because, um, yeah. <laughs> because uh, everyone has to be allied together for an allied victory. Swordsmen in particular are really scary. They've got four damage, which, uh, yeah. <laughs> so. Oh, right, you're done installing. Congratulations. Nope. <laughs> Darn it. That's not what I want to do at all. Okay, Storm Priest up in here. Yes. Excellent. Chain Lightning. In 26 turns. Screw that. Okay. Ooh. New hero and a lizardman hero. Excellent. Uh, oh, thank you. I'm. A, it's a good sign. Okay, so nice. So this guy can. Uh, he's a lizardman, so that means he can just swim around because he's riding on a giant frog here. Why would I make peace with the goblins? I. I, I guess that means they're in trouble, or they are most certainly not in trouble. Okay, uh, I regret <laughs> not taking that offer now. Uh, huh. Well, uh, <laughs> I'm sure uh, this will somehow work out. Uh, crap. <laughs> well, let's go bully this guy anyway. Uh, see if I can't get a nifty spell from that wizard's tower. And Oh, right, I blew all my gold gang this hero, but okay, so it's only seven turns, but let's crank up the, uh, our research. So, now I'm not making any mana, but that's okay, because I'm not really spending much mana either. Um, uh -huh. Die, beetle, die. Okay. Alright, humans, are you producing level... You're not! Why? Uh, maybe that's a special aggressive thing, I wonder. Yeah, I'll go right to level 3s, or... An holy champion. Huh. Maybe. Maybe later. Can't really afford to drop the money on that sort of thing right now. Oh! Uh-oh! Oh, that's not good. <laughs> if this guy gets caught out in the open by a dragon ship, he's toast. So why don't you go hang out with this stack? Uh, and yeah, why don't you as well? It'll be fun. Yeah, I can pop the full screw that. Uh, oh! Hey, there's the beetles. I was wondering where they'd gone. 
Oh, oh dear. Hey, hey, that one better than expected. I mean, they still destroyed me, but, uh... Oh, and now they're migrating it. Not a, not a big fan of halflings, are they? It's okay. Uh, yeah, still though, I'm, uh, I'm surprised. Oh, stupid dwarves. I wanted that city. I guess it's my fault for putting it off for so long. It's not exactly an important city to... You know what? Maybe that'll influence my decision. Maybe that means I'll be the humans for support. <laughs> because screw the dwarves. Um, I could take that city with this army, but I have nothing... Oh! Never mind. I have nothing to break the walls with, so why don't we... Uh... Damn, I need to get something that'll help me destroy walls. Maybe I could build just a couple elephants, just for fun. Um, I guess there's always... Yeah, because... Elves, Halflings, Azraks, Dark Elves, none of those have high-level units that can break walls. So I guess we'll just have to get a couple of Badging Rams, which is a shame because they're bloody expensive, but hey, you know, that's the way she goes. Alright. Uh, this is our city now. We're not migrating those half of the way. Oh, two, un two units lost. That's stupid. You can never have enough glory riders. Hmm. Yeah. On, at Emperor level, AI heroes level up really quickly. That's why they're all sitting at level 11, I'm sitting at level 6. <laughs> hey! Level... Oh! Level 6. Um, yeah, let's just hold up for spellcasting 3. Why not? Maybe I should have given her a wall climb. Uh, that's a unique decision. Oh. Oh, that's true, actually. That's that's my advantage here. They're, unless they get bigger ships than a dragon ship, they can't land significant parties here. Yeah, there you go. Take them down. And meanwhile, let's uh, start carrying you guys down there, because I'd like to get you on a boat. Wait. Oh, I don't know why I did that. That was stupid. Oh, well. Yeah, that was really stupid, actually. I, I was not thinking there. So I want to get these four these four and one battery gram on a boat. So, anyway, whatever. Good. We're good. Alright, get down here, you. Get out of here. You guys may be full health, but you don't have any medals. Oh, and here's, here's another group. Let's hope that this battle goes just as well. Oh, yeah, there we go. It, when it pauses like that, it's because someone else is moving. Uh, I went okay. See, that's, that is the nice thing about this map. I mean, it works against me just as much as it works for me, but uh, the limited carrying capacity of some ships makes uh, a more effective bottleneck than a lot of, you know, terrain placement. I just cannot get... Oh, because I'm making so many encoding riders. Oh well. Is this... Oh, he's got a 30-year-old. Doc Doc the Fat. Lovely. No. Oh. Let's, let's see if we can't turn him into Doc Doc the Dead. Oh. Looks like they're all off to pursue... Probably the city I just took back. Yay! No casualties. Yep, there they go. Well. Oh yeah, orcs like me, so I don't have to worry about migrating. That's kind of like a base trade, except this isn't actually my base. Um, whereas this is their base, and if I take it, they could be in uh, deep trouble. Yes. Okay, and this is a substantial army. Um, probably be enough to take 
Yeah, because they don't have lightning immunity to air elementals. So I think that would be probably enough to uh, uh, four storm priests against an air elemental. You know what? Yeah, pr that probably would work. So we would be meaning to get another dragon ship anyway. So let's. Uh, I have to install. Does it start installed here? No. Well, you know what? Probably not going to run into anything too dangerous. No, and I just set back my upgrades again. Oh well. Hmm. Yeah. Let's try. Let's see if we can take this. If it weren't for the fact that my army was injured, I wouldn't be too worried, but uh, since they are injured, this could be a challenge. Now they will... Oh, and he's cursed. Darn it. Well, that sucks. So, uh, he can't heal normally, and he has minus two defense. So, not... And minus two resistance as well, so not fun. Um, now again, I mean, here... They're not going to charge me. They're not going to come out until I breach the walls. At least I don't think. You never can tell with the eye. Oh! And there they go. Spoke too soon. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Spoke too soon and very much paid the price for it. Okay, well. Ooh! Well, that's right, isn't it? Let's see if we can't stun this jerk. Excellent! They're all stunned! Alright, that's what I like to... Oh, uh, you've been poisoned, so your damage sucks, so... Um... Okay. No retaliations! He's just gonna sit there and die. Yay! Alright. And... Let's see if you can't pull off that stunt again. Okay, well, the frog survived. Let's screw the frog, I don't care. Yay! Uh, let's bring the whole... Okay, ship battle. Th those always just come down to luck of the draw, really. Excellent. Ha! Now I'm the one. 120 gold. I forgot they're so expensive. Now, at level 3, most races have got um, a bruiser, a flying unit, and some sort of you know specialty unit or whatever. So, trolls are very powerful, but they don't have anything interesting, aside from being able to regenerate. Wyvern Riders can fly, and I might actually go for those over the Beetle Rider. Beetle Riders, they're decently strong in combat, not super strong, but they can also, they can crush walls and they can tunnel underground. There's no underground on this map, so who cares. Um, let's get, yeah, let's get some Wyvern Riders happening here. I do like Wyvern Riders. Uh, Oh crap. No. <laughs> Maybe he's going for an actual base trade. Um, hmm. Damn it. Oh well. That's... Nice! Oh, of course, just as I'm about to get Wyvern Riders too. Let's get some decent fire magic up in here. Um, eh, let's go for fire hail. So it's an enchantment spell, I can gas all my own units to become uh, immune to fire, and they do fire damage, or fire strike, and all that sort of thing, so... Okay, he's going right for my Builder's Guild, from this side of the Oh, he set my Builder's Guild on fire! Lovely! Thank you for that! He burnt it to the ground, and now <laughs> I can't build! Um, Good news is that I think this is the only city he has left. Uh, he's got this stack, which is a little bit scary, but I should be able to deal with that fairly shortly. Um, well, since I don't have a builder skill, obviously I have to get around and start taking his gold points. So, let's take his farm, too. It'd be nice to have. Can I make it back? No, I can't. Well, let's just hope he doesn't seize on that. Um, okay. Attacked him and they lost horribly. Um, oh crap, they did catch him. What? What? <laughs> How did that? <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, 
okay. <laughs> that I've uh, huh, I've never seen that. Uh, I mean, okay. Oh, oh. Well, let's wipe out this. <laughs> I still can't believe that. Let's wipe out this last guy here then. Uh, okay, excellent. Nice. There we go. Uh, okay. Oh, you know what? He's probably got some dragon ships installed here. Well, he must, because he's been building them. So let's see if we can't get some of those into production. Well, this will... Ow. I don't need three. What was I thinking? There's larger and stronger ships as well. Galleons can transport a full stack, and they're incredibly powerful. They also cost 212 gold per piece, and uh, four turns to install, eight turns to build. So <laughs> they're not, you know, I mean, they're not terrible, but they're, uh... oh, lovely. Hey, okay, runaway transport ship. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Go, dark. Dark Elves go, and, um, I'm sorry, did you, uh, that's an interesting tactical decision. Let's see if it works out in my favor. It does not. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, well, no, uh, no worries. I guess I'll just have to pull these guys back. Oh, no, my dragon ship's dead. Um, hmm. No, I guess I'll just lose this city, then. Uh, <laughs> oh well. I've still got, I've got the lion's share of the cities on the map right now, so I'm not too concerned. Oh hey, because we're allied, his guys will get sucked into this battle, so uh... Yeah, nice! Now I've got some magic power. Alright. This, this has provided 25 magic income per turn, which is a non-trivial amount. So now, uh, we can start getting some mana happening here. Uh, come on. There we go. 19 mana per turn, so I can start uh, casting some fun spells. Well, let's see. What? What's a fun spell to get? Oh, Great Eagle, of course. I really forgot about that. Um, oh, yeah, your spell casting level determines the amount of spell casting points you have, so which determines how many spells you can cast off and take to the cast them, all that sort of thing. Hooray! You made a level A. Tarnish. I want you to be casting spells too. Um, Alright. Wait, why did. Oh, don't, don't burn down the fire. Darn it. Okay, well, let's see what else we can do here. Um, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> Run away! <laughs> Run away! Oh no! Oh, that's bad. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> <sighs> R.I.P. in peace, Storm Priests. We thank you for your service. Uh, uh. Goodness is, these guys are at least ready to go. And I am producing a non-trivial amount of gold right now. Uh, which is always good. Let's, uh... Uh, yeah, Swarm's a good area of effect damage spell. Actually, you know what else would be a good spell to get? See, it will be a great spell to get. It's Freeze Water. Oh! Oh, baby, I can live from up on that. Okay, you know what? Screw you, mana. We are going full out into research. No, that doesn't make sense. Uh... <laughs> Let's see. Okay, there we go. Uh, I guess he's just happily sitting there. Oh, well, this is probably a dumb idea, but 
because since he'll probably, I'm assuming he'll take that city shortly anyway, but hey, what the heck. And he should be able to, oh wait, that's just one guy, where's the rest of the stack? Uh, uh oh, well, they're all fighting somewhere. You know what, let's see if he can auto this too. Oh, a spider queen. Yeah, and they're stunned. Yeah, get some. Okay. Definitely want that. Actually, the only, the only meaningful difference is gives Holy Strike instead of Magic Strike, but whatever. Uh, or Holy Strike as well as Magic Strike. Um, Actually, wait, what am I thinking? No, I want both of you to have Holy Strike. Because Holy Strike has a chance of causing vertigo, which will uh, lower the enemy's stats. So, there we go. Magic Strike doesn't actually provide any bonuses, it's just very few enemies are immune to it. So. Okay, let's hover around here. Big floating flyery thing. Nice. Sure, Cadbar. Where are you? Oh, hey. You can uh, be the leader of the Pony Riders. Holy crap, this guy is fast. 41 movement points. And Vision 2. True Skate, there you go. I guess he's like the ultimate scout. Let's go wipe out this city. Wyvern Riders are much stronger than Great Eagles. They're not, uh, yeah. And Great Eagles are still nice. By the way, that's one of the things I love about this game. There's beautiful hand-painted art artwork everywhere, right? I mean, everything just has these little pictures to go along with it, and it's, um, it just does such a good job of kind of bringing you into the world. So the goblins are kind of on their last ropes here. Uh... Oh, and I'm allied with the humans, so they'll get sucked into this battle here. Which will make my life easier. You know what? There we go, let's do it like this. We've got three stacks in this battle now. Nice. Okay, lost a bedroom around, but no worries there. Freeze water will be nice. It'll allow me to kind of move my troops over the water without having to deal with the uh, the tyranny of all these enemy ships running around like those poor storm priests. Hey, there, there she is. Okay, no, not cold breath. Let's get uh, fire breath. Ooh, level three air magic. Um, tornado is amazing. Wind walking would be nice. Uh, I'm gonna move towards uh, level three fire. Oh, poor eagle rider. I'm gonna move towards level three fire magic because that eventually I can get to level four fire magic, which would just be awesome. There we go. Now we've got some ice. That will melt in a few turns, but it won't melt yet, so... Are you upgraded? You are upgraded. So, so I have three options here. Uh, Azerax are interesting, they don't really follow the whole bruiser, flyer, um, specialist thing. Uh, instead I've got a Beholder, which is a floating unit with a powerful uh, ranged attack. Um, well, I mean, it's not super powerful, but it's very long range. Um, the Jin is, uh, he's also floating. He's got a decent range attack and decent melee attack. He's kind of the best all-around unit. Um, and the Sandworm is, um, it can tunnel, and it's invisible in the desert, which is 
interesting. He's got Fire Strike, which is also nice, and he's got high damage, but we're going to go with Beholders. Um, oh, I'm tempted. I mean, Genies are very nice, and they're faster, but Beholders look funny, so I'm going to... I'm going to do that, then. Uh, <laughs> and, and, uh, yeah, you better run. Oh, you know what's coming. Oh, they have walls. Oh, but I have a battering ram. So, okay. so that's the magic of freeze water. And you look here, 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 that sort of thing, here, here, here. Most of the islands here I can cross it with just one casting of the spell, so that makes it even better. Um, where are my wyvern riders coming? I kind of want to store them up and get get some nice a nice stack of flying cavalry for what I eventually and inevitably betrayed the dwarves. Oh, crap. Uh, betraying them will piss off my halfling and elf siblings. Well, it can't be helped. Hooray! Oh, I didn't lose anything. And, uh... So, if I'm not mistaken, that means that apart from their ships hanging out, the, uh, the goblins are basically done. Um, well, I, I swear they had a stack water around here. Huh. Must be going crazy. Okay, let's, uh... Actually, you can fly here, because I don't want them to get any funny ideas about that air number when I clear one of the dwarves. They screw you, Batman Ram, no one likes you. That is a scary stack. That is a powerful hero, some dwarf cavalry, and of course, elephants. Enchanted elephants, no less. Elephants with enchanted weapon. So that. Yeah. More magic. Okay. Now, here we've got some interesting options. Sacrificial Flame, I love. Um, massive fire damage to a huge area on the battlefield. Downside, of course, is that you deal fire damage to yourself, but if you cast, um, what's it called? Fire Halo on your hero beforehand, you have nothing to worry about. Um, oh, crap. Uh, the dwarves have actually got a significant amount of power here. But, um, let's see. Who here would I be better off betraying? Well, let's take. You know what? Yeah. Dwarves took this city and that annoys me, so we're going to betray them. Screw dwarves. Um. I guess we will need this after all. <laughs> all right, the holders. Yeah. Now, interestingly enough, there are no four hex cities on this map, which means it is impossible to get any four level four units. Um, fine. The intro. Hey, I won! Hey, there he goes. Goblins are done. All right. Dwarves are abandoning that post, so that works too. Uh, you guys need to recover from your food and poison already. Oh, one day left. Okay, that's not bad. Let's, uh, let's freeze the water now, just so I have full casting points tomorrow. There we go. Oh, well, screw you, batter grab. Why can't you... Oh, scorpions. You're slow. Hmm. Actually, I could 
ended up losing my air node in all this. Jeez. Okay. Ha! <laughs> you see that? The ice melted in the dwarf archer drowned. <laughs> Sucker. Okay. Well. Screw you, dwarves. Yeah. So that may piss off the halflings a bit. Yes, it did. It did piss off the elves. I also really like dwarves, but it did piss off the halflings. So let's let's try and get a guard down here to keep the city from rebelling until they until they get over their oops, until they get over their silliness. Yeah. All right. And if we fortify it, that'll make them happy again. It's a, it's a fun fun tip you learn from this game. You build someone walls, and they will like you. Um, good thing to keep in mind if you're, uh, if you're looking to get into uh, the dating scene. Uh, okay. Declare war. Kill him. No casualties. Hooray. Uh, screw you guys. Kill him. Uh -huh. Do I have cat? I do not. Uh, do you? Yes, you do. Okay. Not enough mat. Oh crap! Are you kidding me? Ugh, that's the worst. Oh, he lost most of his armor there. Well, that, that's you know, small blessings at least. Oh, well, they also like me now either. Well, they'll get over. <laughs> All right, beholder. All your floppy ears. Eyes, rather. Oops! Oh, crap. Well, that could end up screwing me over. <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh, yeah, because the halflings are pissed off, they all uh, ab <laughs> abandoned me. So I just lost a massive smoke. And I'm about to. Uh... Oof. So as it turns out, uh, this. May not declare war on them may not have been the best decision. Oh well. We'll recover. Yeah. Oh, you're a dwarf city now. Oh, fine, if you want to get all angry at me, I'll migrate you back to Azrax. Well, at least the evil races like me. <laughs> Though I don't know if that's actually all that good a sign. Hey, the evil, the evil guys like me. <laughs> no, I'm gonna have to take that back. This, this lack of mana is really gonna hurt me. And let's get uh Oh yeah, let's get fireball, because I won't do damage walls. Which is always convenient. Ha! <laughs> Kill the frog! Yeah, you, you can't beat the beholders. Woo! There's something. I can now talk to orcs. So if I can talk to that city and get it under my protection, it will probably immediately take it back from me, but it's something. There you are, dragon ship. We need a crap load of mana right now, so screw your research. Uh-oh, he's got a ship. Yeah. And instead of catapults, dwarves build cannons, which are a bit scary. So, uh... See how well we do against those. At the very least, let's move up to the next island. Oh, yeah, I've got plenty of cash. Excellent. Let's upgrade you. Let's get some more over its half in here.
darn it. I don't have quite enough mana. Oh well, we'll sit here for now. Oh yeah. Actually, Baldur, you can just wait there. Fire Knight. Whoa, I need to take that from them. ASAP. Let's fight this tactically. Also, that way, you know, it can kind of show what the holders do. What do the holders get up to? <laughs> you know what? Yeah. Okay, a battering ram just goes standing front there. <laughs> Maybe people will attack it. I'm not holding my breath, but you never know. Oh, you can't cast spells, but that's okay, you can. So. You just have to rely on your magic bolts. Okay. Yeah. We're all moving up. <laughs> A lot of frogs. Jeez. I guess everyone has water magic on this map because everyone just keeps summoning frogs. I uh, use earth and water. Okay. Yeah. That's fair. Makes sense for dwarves, I guess. Uh. Nope. Yeah. Elephants can be a bit scary. Doom gaze. No. <laughs> The mighty power of the, uh... <laughs> okay. Oh, I stunned two frogs. It's not every day you get to say that. Here. <laughs> She's actually a pretty competent melee fighter now too, except her defense is terrible. But again, I mean, you know, if she had good defense, the game quickly becomes trivially easy, so... Okay, hey, nicely done. And they have Vertigo, which... Two, minus two attack and minus two defense. Like, Alright, hero. Look, there's a battering ram. What are you going to do? Oh, ignore it. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, entangling is really nasty. Three turns and minus two defense. Well, I guess it's the exact same as what, well, but... Oh, darn it. I swear these things are actually good. <laughs> What's his... His defense is five. So this is where magic bolts are handy, because... Uh... Oh. In theory, they are handy. There we go. That's what I like to see. And he's burning! So he has a chance of taking fire damage. Okay, I guess I was asking for that. Alright. Watch out, man. Hey! And it cursed him! Excellent! I'm doing Flame Arrow instead of Chain Lightning just because it has a very high chance of hitting. Oh, but his defense is down to three now anyway. Forgot about that. Okay. Oh. Haha! <laughs> there you go, sucker. Does he have any, any items? No, he did not. Oh well. I got my node back. That's all that really matters. Well, maybe we'll actually make you a bit useful. There you go. Um, oh. Well, there's a chance that the hydrogen ram might drown, but it's okay. 
they knew what they were getting into when they decided to man a battery ram. Oh, right, I need to install it. Yes, more beholders. <laughs> hey, and it survives. Oh, uh oh. Let's see that automatic. Ooh, that's not the result I was hoping for. Oh, but the humans are, uh. Hmm. I don't know. If I fight that and lose, I'll be significantly set back, so I'm gonna try and, uh... Oh, I forgot about these guys. I'm gonna try and make, make this more careful, because I feel like I'm kind of at the point where I won, but if I lose that fight, then it'll take much longer for me to actually get to the end of the game, which is never fun. And you know what? Yeah, you can cast Fire Halo on yourself. Goodbye, Badrin Graham. <laughs> you were a decent quick scoper. thinking I really should be taking more advantage of that arena there. Um, actually, I can really just send all my beholders there first. That'll, uh, that'll give me a non-trivial advantage. Especially since I've got enough cities, I'm just generating a crap ton of gold anyway, so... fight this manually just so you can see the magic of Sacrificial Flame. It's a, it's a very fun spell. One of the most entertaining ones, actually. Uh, and in a battle like this, we should be able to use it to great effect. Actually, let's rush up there, because we want to... We eliminate this frog as soon as possible, and we can take up a good strategic position in the center of the map and wait, uh, wait for their guys to come in. Alright. <laughs> Screw you, frog. That's what you get for being an amphibian. I'm kidding, I'm not actually prejudiced against amphibians. Some of my favorite Muppets are frogs. This hero is... that is scary, man. Level 19, 10 defense? Oof. Oh, that's okay. I mean, uh... Wyvern Riders can poison him, and, uh... Beholders can curse them, and, uh... Uh... Well, uh, the, what's his face? Lizard Dude can set him on fire. So in between all that, uh, we should be able to bring down his stats a fair bit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. All right. <laughs> well, that is just beautiful. <laughs> Even though that's not as good as some of the water combat spells like Great Hail, but it's uh, <laughs> it's just so much fun to watch. Uh, <laughs> I mean, how can you not like that? Uh, let's see. Okay. 
Aha! I'll teach you for being a frog. I guess he, I guess he doesn't like the frog rider. Oh! There's a scary spell. Chain lightning. Let's just see if we can stun him. We cannot. Okay. Here. Are you kidding me? Okay, fine. Alright. Well, that we can solve easily. See, Doomgaze has an exceptionally long range, which is one of the nice things about it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Nice! Is he poisoned? Poisoned? He is not poisoned. He has six resistance, so he may be a bit tough to poison. That's okay. Uh, or maybe it's not okay. Good correction, it is not okay. Uh, yeah, sure, kill him. Yeah, I'm gonna go with not okay. See, this is why uh, I don't like getting high defense on my heroes, because, you know, they become like this. You can just take down an entire army with them, and, uh, yeah. Oh, sure. Tangle a friggin' Beholder. Great. But, you know, the good news is Magic Bolts does have a decent attack, and so does the Flame Arrow spell. So, between those two... <laughs> Hypothetically, we have a chance of bringing him down. Oh, this is the worst. Oh, come on! Yeah! And he's on fire. Hey! Nicely done, Boulder. I would just kill this. Ah. Yeah, I'll bet your gold medal now. Holy crap. Killed a level 19 hero. And the froggies don't win, unsurprisingly. Oh, I have to start installing this again now. Oh, lovely. Oh well. I can I can live with losing that city. Well it does mean we're probably gonna to wanna to keep our holders hanging around on defense here. The holders can also cause fear, which is nice. Uh they have a chance of paralyzing enemies with fear every time they do a melee attack, so yeah, that's always something special. And <laughs> now we've got three of them. Alright. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm doing okay in terms of mana. Um, Ooh! The humans are making their move. I don't know how useful it'll be, but hey, it's, we'll distract them at least. Well, hopefully. Uh, oh man. The other thing I should do with all this money is I should get a galleon. Because if I have to hunt down a bunch of dwarf ships, that'll make it a lot easier. Um, uh, I lost my battering ram, didn't I? Ah, uh, let's warlord it up. And let's try and take let's see if we can take that fire node. Uh, and in doing so we're gonna trap the human ship because it's funny. Uh, <laughs> I know doing that actually makes life worse for me, but hey. Oh, 
we are casting some major spells here. He's at level 20. Let's, uh, let's fight this tactically, just in case. Also, I mean, another another chance to show off the fun of uh, Sacrificial Flame. Oops, I moved him too far forward. <laughs> oh well. What's the worst that could happen? Okay. Alright. Oh, oops, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Boom! Now, look, now you've got stars on your head because you're vertical. Oh wow, it's pure swordsmen. Okay. Halfling swordsmen are interesting. Uh, they've got their damage is crappy; it's only two. But they also have parry, which gives them, which gives an enemy minus two attack on the first melee attack they make against him. So, yeah. Range attacks do tend to be better against swordsmen, or halfling swordsmen, in any case. Oh, well, swordsmen in general, really, to think of it, but... Okay. Oh, I was hoping I have enough casting points to cast twice, but I don't. Oh, well, in any case, let's uh, do some chain lightning here. Hey! Two dead, one stunned. Here, go. I was gonna say go much on him, but I guess you can't reach it. Uh, yeah, you go. Yeah, uh, with your nice curve, uh, Azrak sword. <laughs> Which, I guess, is technically a staff of nature, but whatever. Come on, guys, bunch all together. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Yeah. I wonder if I can get all of them. That'd be funny. No, but I can get most of them. Well, it didn't kill any, but they're all almost dead, so that's something at least. anything done right, you have to get a beholder to do it. Honestly. Oh, shoot. Yeah, 100% chance of hitting that beholder no matter what, so let's, uh, let's just move. Oh. Hey, and he's panicked. So he's, uh, yeah. Probably finish them off actually. Or finish two of them off anyway. Oh, friggin' forest. Why can't you be open plains like a self respecting battlefield? Okay. Well, they're trying to flank me for all the good old people. I have no idea how a Beholder's Gaze damages a cannon, but I'm not complaining. Oh, well, screw you. Fine. Okay, can I, uh... Sure, what the heck. Oh. Well. Oh, so long. Catfire was fun while it lasted. Oh, or you could just <laughs> not shoot him. Dang, man, everyone wants to get a piece of the catfire action here. Friggin' trees, I can't shoot anything. Fly Boulder. Oh. There we go. Excellent. 30 income. 
now you've got some magic happening. <laughs> nice. Yeah, sure, what the heck, why not? Okay, so what are our options here? Fire Mastery. Uh, okay, so that will make uh, independent units go crazy and start attacking their neighbors. I don't know if there are any independents left right now. Uh, Firestorm. Oh, it also makes worse spells cost double. It also makes a free fire elemental appear at any fire nodes. Um, firestorm makes a big firestorm. Fire elemental it summons a fire elemental, and warmonger makes units built in a town start off at some experience level. That's usually very powerful. I'm going to go with firestorm for now, just because of how close uh, this town is to an arena. Speaking of which. I mean, I guess I can save myself some money, but uh, I'm not really at a point in the game where money is an issue right now. Ah, sure. And uh, because I have the fireball spell now, according to auto combat, I can uh, break walls, so hooray. Got another warlord happening. Why are they not taking that city, I wonder? It's very curious. Oh, <laughs> yeah, okay. A war rider against five dark elf archers. Yeah, that'll work for you. Yeah, okay. As I suspected. Hmm. Well. Ha! <laughs> I wonder if he'll drown next turn. That would make this so much easier. Let's do that anyway. Hooray! And the halflings are okay with me again, so that's, uh, that's always nice. Oh. Didn't quite drown. All these guys uh, before, uh, before that gets even more out of hand. Actually, what am I thinking? You know, let's, uh, let's get another bridge over. How are you doing? Oh, don't have enough casting points. Well, we'll do it next turn then. Trap that stupid dragon ship, and then, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I love those crazy eyes. Okay. That didn't trap him at all. Oh well. Now uh, you know what? You're a warlord. It's time for you to get some combat experience. Okay. I wonder, because if these two beholders can kill that dragon ship, then everyone else will drown. So let's see how this goes. I like this so far. Yeah! Have fun being dead. Yeah, just build a bunch of these. Let's just hope the Warlord doesn't drown. <laughs> uh, if he does, no worries. Sorry, boats, you're not going anywhere. No, 
Now let's get Tornado. That's a fun one. Oh yay, the Warlord survived. This game's basically done at this point. Um, ah, he drowned. Hey, Cast Enchanted Road. Well, that was nice of him. Let's, um. Sure. Oh. Right, I'm casting a spell, so I can't use Fireball. Oh well. Hmm. Actually. No, never mind. Actually, the humans, yeah, they might be able to do something there. You never know. Nope. <laughs> Obviously not. Okay, well, let's just get a battering ram and bring it down here. Um... Oh, yeah, I forgot about these guys. There you are. Tactically, it's basically the last battle, so... Alright, move everyone up. Now, Warlords are really beefy guys, so, uh, <laughs> yeah. They can't break walls, they have no special abilities, but they just, uh, they dominate everything, so, uh... Oh, good, they're charging out to meet me again, I was like, when they do that. I think normally they do that when they, uh, the AI sees that your potential for range damage is greater than theirs. In this case, my spellcasting. Um, so, uh, yeah, so they'll charge out. I guess in, in, they're going to want to try and kill my heroes uh, to stop them from casting spells. But 
we've got some other ideas. Yes, yes, they're all very special. Okay. Uh, yeah, sacrificial flame. Damage the walls a bit. Now here we can do something fun with the warlord. Blow up that building too. Round attack. <laughs> and let's do that again. Yeah. All right. Uh, sure. Stupid frog. Uh, take that. is the opposite of it. Oh! I made that noise because walls are on fire. Okay, so you can run away. Uh, or at least get, you know, safely away. Uh, why don't you take a step back? You get some fireball happening here. <laughs> Blow everything up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, fire magic, yeah, again, you know, it's not as good as water magic, but it is by no means bad. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. Oh, I might hit the mushroom. I hit the mushrooms. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Okay, fine, just eat him. Ah. Die, hero, die! Uh, oh, that hero is a bit scarier than I expected. Okay, well. Oh, I can't remember. Can chain, light, chain lightning hit your own guys in this game? No, I don't think it can. I think that's only. Yeah, okay, that's only in the second. Actually, if I just have to do round attacks, you can't even retaliate. Hey! There we go. Okay, so now I just need to blow up his ships. That shouldn't be too hard now that I've got one of these. And, uh... Where'd you go? Where's my ship patrol? There they are. Let's go blow up some boats. Oh, one's down! Two's down. That leaves only this last one here, which actually let's cover that ship here so I don't make it. Actually, you know what? Here, beholders, you can take care of it. Actually, uh, bring Frogman too. There you go. Nice. All right, and there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. A full game of Age of Wonders in uh, what, a couple hours, I guess. Yeah. Uh, and here it shows all the stats. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, the goblins were doing pretty well up until I started hitting them, so I'm glad I went after them first, and the dwarves. Yeah. Alright. Well, I guess I'll see you all next time if there is a next time, and if not, then uh, I guess I won't.